A staff member on a massive GTA fan site says Grand Theft Auto 6's announcement is coming soon, and Rockstar posts something on their social media account that directly talks about GTA 6. We'll be talking about all that in this video today and a whole lot more. So something interesting that GTA 6 fans have been talking about really over the last 24 hours comes from a staff member on a prominent GTA forums website who has a history of providing leaks to the community and possibly even having reliable sources with insider info at Rockstar Games. So they posted this on their Twitter account. This happened at 4.11 p.m. on October 3rd and it hasn't gathered a ton of attention yet. As you can see, it doesn't have massive amounts of views as some other posts might have, but it just simply says soon, period. That's it. And I know you might be thinking, well, how does that relate to Grand Theft Auto 6? Well, for this, we actually have to go back all the way to 2021 before the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition of 3 Vice City and San Andreas were here. So it all began on January 25th when this same individual who you can see is a staff member on this site posted soon, period, the exact same post. And others caught on to this by saying, you're trying to leak in the wrong forum. Then again, I guess if you were trying to post in the correct one, it would become very obvious what it is you're leaking. Not that it would be a wrong thing to just be obvious about it. Out of curiosity, what do you think? Obviously, without saying what it is in front of everyone, if you don't want to. Personally, I think it's pretty cool and would never have genuinely expected them to do that. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. With him responding saying, oh, I know very well what forum I should be in. And I know that you know that if I were to post in those forums, everyone would begin to know what we know, and I prefer it to just be us that you know. But all of us that know treat it differently, so if you want to post in those forums, I ain't going to stop you. But yeah, I think it's effing awesome, and I can't wait. I've wanted this to happen for many years now, and I'm glad it's happening sooner rather than later. And then again, just moments later, the tags on that same thread being changed to three, Vice City, and San Andreas. And after that occurred, the conversation shifted towards cryptic talk about cars and vehicles, but it was kind of just lingo for discussing the game. As someone said, when do you consider buying one? Would be interested to see how your truck would look, and then cryptically hinting in less than 90 days. Was someone following up saying, good job, I can't wait to see it soon, saying, yeah, I should get a trailer soon. Truck should have plenty of power with this engine, no problem towing and hauling. So hopefully those screenshots were able to give you a little bit more detail on why the soon post is important because it's been roughly three years since this individual, which seems to have some sort of inside info, has made the same sort of post. And the best news of it all, despite the fact that the games weren't really all that good and honestly they were kind of a disaster, it turned out to be true. We did get the trilogy definitive edition of Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. And this same fan site also has a history from its staff members of also sort of posting cryptic messages. You guys might have seen this floating around. These were some fan-made chart cards, and you can see in the serial number, it has 2021, 2022, 2004, and 2013. These are the respective release dates of GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas, as well as Grand Theft Auto 5, followed by Before 6, hinting that all of those remasters would come before GTA 6, and so far, that's been the case. We've gotten not only the Trilogy Definitive Edition of those games, but also a PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S version of GTA 5. So I just find it interesting that the same individual that essentially three years ago gave us these hints and clues that an announcement was imminent for the Trilogy Definitive Edition has now sort of poked their head out of the woods again and is doing the exact same thing as we are all anticipating Grand Theft Auto 6 to be revealed soon. Now, as all of that was going on, Rockstar has, of course, remained pretty much radio silent on social media. They aren't really posting anything interesting aside from, you know, the various event weeks and either Red Dead Online or GTA Online or highlighting posts that fans have made and tagged them in. But one thing that they did post the other day was an article done on Games Radar. They said the incomparable Ash Sky Queen revisits 10 years of incredible skydiving stunts in this fantastic montage. 
and it's essentially a stunt montage to celebrate the 10 years of GTA 5 and GTA Online. And I highly recommend that you check out the article. It is very, very cool. It has a lot to do with GTA Online and doing stunts and all sorts of good stuff. And at the very end of the article, which Rockstar again reposted, they talked about Grand Theft Auto 6. The article goes on to say, with GTA 6 perched on the horizon, Rockstar's long awaited and much anticipated next main series entry now marks the next frontier and Ash cannot wait to set loose within the bounds of a new open world playground. She adds, I'm beyond excited for the next game and I always have been for every GTA release. I've played all of them religiously since I was a kid, and the next game will be no different. Rockstar never disappoints when it comes to mechanics, environments, and details, and I'm itching to explore it all. And yeah, it really does blow my mind that GTA 5 and GTA Online are now 10 years old. I was in my 20s when it released. I'm praying we'll get GTA 6 before I hit 40. And that's actually kind of a sad truth. I bet there were some people that probably had to get permission from their parents to get GTA 5 and now might have kids themselves when GTA 6 ends up coming out because it's probably going to be about 12 or 13 years after that game came out. So I certainly think the article is very cool and the fact I think they talk about GTA 6 is interesting, but it does make you wonder if Rockstar was aware that they talked about GTA 6 at the end of it. They've never confirmed, obviously, the game itself, other than the fact they've stated the next installment of the game is well underway. They obviously haven't called it GTA 6 or anything like that. So maybe Rockstar, did they not know that was there? Because if that was the case, they might not have retweeted or reposted the entire thing on all their social medias. And on top of all of that that Rockstar is doing on social media, they still do not have anything pinned at the top of their profile. It's kind of going on two weeks now since they've done that. And so because of that, many fans, including myself, believe that they are just saving that pin post for a massive announcement coming soon. And you can only expect and hopefully speculate that that massive reveal would be GTA 6. But anyways, that is all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below on everything we discussed. And do you think GTA 6 is coming soon or its announcement is coming soon? And do you have more hope based on what we talked about in this video. Again, let me know what you're thinking in those comments down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You wanna stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.